It's Sunny and Finn's Games and Grabs podcast. This week, we go over the games of March and give our thoughts and predictions for this Sunday's WWE Fastlane. What's up, guys? Welcome to episode 53 of the Games and Grabs podcast. I'm Sunny, and with me, as always, is Finn Steele. Hello. How you doing, Finn? I'm okay. Yeah? Yes. You're good? I think so. Excellent. <laughs> How are you? I'm good, thank you. I've got a long weekend coming up. Excellent. I'm going to play some games, I'm going to watch some films, and awesome. some wrestling, and I'm going to relax. It's going to be good. I've got to work tomorrow, yeah. but uh, yeah, I'm excited for a long weekend. It's nice to be excited for something. Switch launches on Friday. It does. And I'm excited fun. for that as well. So it's good. I'm, I'm full of excitement. Excellent. It's the excitement podcast. Yes. Excitement. Exciting times. Be excited, Finn. I'll try. Be excited with me. <laughs> okay. Or at least be excited for me. I am excited. Okay. I am excited. You look excited. I mean... Please be excited. A few people can't see Finn, but he, he looks excited. I'm bouncing up and down my chair right now. He certainly is. <laughs> like, it's, it's a sight to behold. <laughs> what have you been up to, Finn? What have you been doing this week? Um, not a whole lot. What have been doing game-wise? I've got a list here. you got a list? I've got a list. The list of Finn. The list of Finnico. Fin- yeah, list of influence. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I've started my Resident Evil 7 uh, Madhouse difficulty run. Oh, yeah? It's pretty difficult. It's pretty, yeah? <laughs> yeah, it's uh, hard to expect to be, even with all the all, like, items and stuff you get for beating the game and then the four hours and all that. Um, yeah, stuff still kills in one hit. Um, there's uh, everything just kills you. <laughs> really quickly, this, the, the like auto saves aren't as frequent as they are in like normal mode. Okay. So if you if you haven't saved in a while, you can go back like hours. Well, not hours, but like like ten twenty minutes, which can be annoying. Um, but yeah, it's just about managing your saves. You got any got limited number of saves, like in the olden days. You had the, had the uh, ink ribbons. Ink ribbons. Yeah. Classic ink ribbons. It's your time. It's uh, uh cassette tapes. Uh, oh yeah, I remember you saying last week. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. It's nice. Uh, callback it's a nice touch yeah um, other than that um, played some Overwatch with you and Griff yeah uh, on stream which is fun yeah it was good um, yeah I'm enjoying it I'm, I'm back into it yeah it's fun I just had a capture the flag mode which has piqued my interest uh, yes uh, I haven't tried it but it's, it's, I, I will yeah there's updated a new uh, update uh, with a couple of new changes on there so that's cool mm. I look forward to playing that later um, I also played the uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands beta with uh, Litiga okay how are you finding it hmm it's fine. Yeah? It's just fine? It's a Ubisoft game. <laughs> it is a Ubisoft game. It's very Ubisoft. Um, there's no doubt going to be server problems when the game launches. Um, found a couple of bugs. In fact, there's one funny bug which I edited out and put a video on Daydreamer. Yeah. Um, well, I got stuck in a rock and then got launched across the map and flew along like Superman. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. Yeah. Um, I just love that he floated for so long as well. <laughs> it wasn't even like a, a little bit of a fly and then he falls down the cliff. He just seems to be floating for <laughs> Ages. Yeah, it's got like a launch in a straight line down the mountain. Uh, <laughs> the thing is, he was stuck behind a rock, so like, it's just no realistic way that it could even, well, yeah. there's no realistic way it can happen anyway, <laughs> but it just seems like the most stupid glitch in the world. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's very funny. Good he gave us a funny video for Daydreamer. Yeah, so there you go. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's, that's, it's fine. It'll do well, I think. It'll do very well. Yeah, I'll probably pick it up when it's on sale at some point. Sure. So yeah, uh, other than that, that's about it, really, I think. Yeah? Yeah, I think so. How about you? What have you been up to? Well, same. I haven't really been playing a lot. Um, I mean, I played on Friday night before I went out. I played like an hour of an hour or so of Modern Warfare Remastered. Yeah, yeah. And it reminded me why I love Call of Duty so much and why I need it to go back <laughs> to those it's sort back to of the old times. Days. Yeah. Because the, it's just the pacing of it and the weapons and... It's just not so frantic. The maps are great. The pacing's great. The weapons are great. And it just makes for a more fun game. Cool. Um, but I, I'm glad I've got it and I'm going to put a lot more hours into it. It's just finding the time to do so because I've been very yes. busy recently. Um, yeah, it's <laughs> Got back into Overwatch, uh, nice. like you mentioned, and we played mm-hmm. it together and I've played it myself as well a little bit before that. Cool. And I really like it. Um, I'm glad that I've gotten back into it yeah. because it is very accessible and... I know that you're sort of you're like a healing guy on it and stuff like that, and you're keeping the team alive. <laughs> do my best, but I'm getting them eliminations. <laughs> nice, and I, I I do pretty well. I I don't I'm not I don't claim to be great at the game because I'm not, but I enjoy it and I get my eliminations and my medals and that makes me happy. Cool. 
And uh, yeah, I'm trying to learn more characters. Yeah, uh, I like awesome. I like Diva, Diva, uh, and I like Sombra. You guys said she was going to be quite hard to master, but I didn't really find it that difficult. Um, yeah, it's easy, easy to play, but there's some like advanced stuff you can do with her. It uh, takes a bit of practice, but yeah. But I, I think fun. she's a good character. Yeah, it's um, practice is mode in the arcade. If you want to try out new characters, it's called like Mystery Heroes. Just okay. picks just picks the new hero for you every time you die. Oh, I see. It's quite fun. <laughs> um, so yeah, I recommend giving that a go. Cool. So I'm going to play a lot more of that uh, now that I've re-downloaded it. Like I threatened I would last week, <laughs> and I did it, and we played it, and it was good. And nice. Griff played, and that was great. So yeah. it, was, it was great to be joined by Griff, a long-time viewer and commenter, and uh, it was great to have him with us, and we'll definitely have him back as well. Definitely. Um, now that he has a PS4, which is good times. Yeah. I'm awesome. blaming us for that. Yeah, it's our fault. I'm actually putting that responsibility <laughs> of him buying a PS4 on us. Yeah, it's our influence. Yeah. Or my influence. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, what else have I been playing uh, we did me and Denzel did a massive FIFA 17 stream on Sunday oh yeah so it was like three hours long wasn't it yeah like three and a quarter hours <laughs> nice. uh, we were playing uh, 2v2 online co-op oh, and we right. only lost one game ooh very good esports come at us yeah we're ready for you <laughs> EA sports it's yeah it's a game but, uh, so that was good that was good fun but besides that not an awful lot. I dipped in, I uh, played a little bit of Halo Wars 2 yesterday, which I think is great, by the way. Cool. Not my sort of thing, but I do like it. I think it's very, very cool. And it's uh, an RTS that's very accessible for newcomers to that style of game. Yeah. And it's it, it plays very well on console. Cool. So Good that's cool. Um, I've got Horizon sitting on my PS4, ready for me to play. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm not h- hyped for it. I'm not. <laughs> Honestly, I'm kind of the same way. Uh, it looks amazing from what I've seen. Yeah. It looks like my type it. of game, but it's like... Yeah, I'll, I'll get around to it maybe one day. But that's it. It's like, um, <laughs> I've got it there and I'm like, yes, yeah, this is big. PS4 exclusive sitting on my console. <laughs> and honestly, I quite happily just sit and play Halo Wars tonight. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I'm, I'm waiting for Nia to come out in, like, next week or week after. Mm. There it is. But uh, yeah, I mean, I will definitely play it at some point. Yeah, I mean, but... I am going <laughs> to play it tonight. I'm not going to play Halo. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play it because I feel like I need to just to maybe sort of get that monkey off my back of <laughs> I'm not hyped for it yeah, I yeah. need it to I need to play it cause I've seen people have been like changing their Twitter names to Horizon Zero whatever <laughs> and like just hyping the shit out of it PS4 shares all over the place and yeah. I'm like yeah okay the game's coming out I haven't got that Uncharted 4 level of hype yes I know what you mean you know what I mean it's like yeah yeah when, it's like the new big game hype yeah like, like the new I should be really hyped I'm a Playstation guy and yeah. You know, I should be hyped for the brand new exclusive. But, you know, I'm. it doesn't hit me like God of War does. It doesn't hit me like Uncharted does or Infamous. And, yeah, but yeah. I think, you know, I, I need to play it and I will play it later. And hopefully I'll be won around by it because um, it does look fantastic. Oh, yeah. uh, I just need to play it, but I don't know what it is that hasn't got me hyped. I don't know if it's because Zelda is two days away and I'm Could like be. super hyped for that. Yeah, like, that's amazing. I saw... 10 minutes of Zelda footage of the day and I was like, this looks amazing. <laughs> yeah, and totally. I'm not a Zelda guy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I am a Zelda guy. Um, still, I don't know if I'm going to get it on the Wii U or not. I'm not going to get Switch straight away. going to wait a little while. But uh, I am looking forward to playing it on Friday when I come on yours. For sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, which we're going to stream uh, yes. to Daydreamer. Which, by the way, thank you for getting us to 100 subscribers. Yes. Uh, we are now youtube.com forward slash Daydreamer Gaming. So Woo. thank you. Uh, we'll be doing some Switch stuff on Friday. We're going to record an unboxing mm-hmm. of the Switch console itself and we're going to be playing uh, Breath of the Wild. Yes, it's going to be awesome. Good times. Um, so yeah, I'll play Horizon later on and I'll we'll talk about it next week. Uh, yes. Hopefully I'll have played a significant amount of it and we'll talk about it next week. Cool. Sounds good. So, we had so... some gaming news last week. Gaming news made a, a welcome return. It did. Stuff happened. But stuff has happened again this week, so Gaming yes. News is back again. Yeah. Yes. Welcome back. Welcome back. Video games. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Xbox One is getting a Netflix-style gaming subscription service. Cool. Called Xbox Games Pass. It's called Xbox Flix. <laughs> Xflix. <laughs> yeah. Netbox. We'll work on it. We will. We'll work on it. <laughs> <laughs> um, it looks interesting. It's um, basically what it is. You're going to pay like a monthly fee. It's going to be eight pound in this country, from what I believe, per mm-hmm. month, and you're going to get access to a library of games that you can download and play. Basically, sounds similar to PlayStation's. What it PlayStation, PlayStation now. now, yeah, yeah. But you get to play the game in full quality, 
because you download the game. Exactly, download, yeah, yeah. Because PlayStation now you stream, stream it, it, yeah, and it's, it's hit and miss. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I tried the free trial because my TV has it built in, so like might be fun to try. And yeah, it was garbage. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I played um, episode one of the Jurassic Park <clears throat> Telltale oh, yeah. game, and I was like, okay, yeah, I, I do want to play this, so this is worthwhile. <laughs> but you get like some crappy lag depending on what's going on with your internet yeah, on the day. It's like this is stupid. Come on, not the best. Um, so PlayStation Now is. A failure, in my opinion, and they're taking it away from devices, so your TV's not going to have it soon. I don't Probably think. not. Yeah, I think it's going to be. It's, it's coming off Vita, coming off PS3. I think. E. I think it's just going to be on PS4, or something like that. That's what I read. I might be completely wrong, but it is coming off a load of devices, and PS4 is going to be one of the only places that you're going to be able to use PlayStation now. Yes, interesting. But this, it looks interesting. It's, it's got it's got games from Xbox 360 and Xbox One. Hmm. Uh, it's got stuff like Halo Five, Mad Max, and stuff like that. And I'm sure newer stuff will get added as you know, you, you know, time rolls on. Yeah, yeah. But totally. um, it, it certainly does look interesting. It's launching late spring. Okay. So if you're looking for an excuse to buy an Xbox One but don't want to spend hundreds of pounds on all the games, you can download them straight to your console using this fairly useful service. Yeah, yeah. It's eight pounds a month. Not bad. Yeah, seven ninety nine. It is. Cool. Launches late spring, twenty seventeen. Like we said last week when we were talking about something launching in spring, that could be any time between <laughs> yeah, now March and, and summer. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> expect it the day before summer. Yeah, probably. Right, what else have we got? The PlayStation Plus games for March oh, yes. have been revealed. Finally. We get a drum roll? I'll let it later. It's a solid, <laughs> solid drum roll. Thank you. <laughs> for PlayStation 4... We get Tearaway Unfolded. Nice. That's a good one, actually. Yeah, it's a good game. Yeah, I played, uh, played the Vita version when that came yeah, out. It's really, really good. It's uh, underappreciated on PlayStation 4. Yeah. Because they didn't really hype it up or give you any reason to want to play it. <laughs> um, they were just like, oh, this is here. Uh, play it, I guess. Yeah, I mean, you might want to play it on Vita, but it's here too. Yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Some different stuff with the... No, just just play it, please. Yeah, yeah. but it, it is good, and it's uh, it's it's well worth a look. It's a really it's a really tidy little game. Yeah, fairly easy to tap them as well. So that's about that's there a bonus. Uh, there's a game called Lumo, L U M O. Lumo, okay, it's a new one. Yeah, never heard of that one. <laughs> and then Disc Jam. Ah, yes, which we have played. Uh, we have played. We played it over on Daydreamer a few of us, and it's great. Mm, very good. It's, addictive. It is very addictive, and it's, it's basically like a um, a frisbee game. Yeah. It's like uh, Windjammers that we played up. Yeah, Windjammers, yeah. yeah. It's like Windjammers for a new generation, I think, is what GameX said. Yeah, it's good. good or there. someone. No, no, wait, it was Martin Dixon that said it oh, yeah. in the comments when we played it on YouTube. He said, Windjammers for a new generation. Yeah, Which cool. is exactly what it is. And it's cool. Um, smart move from uh, High Horse to mm. give it free on PlayStation Plus. Very, very uh, Rocket League-ish. Very Rocket very League-ish. Smart. And it's, it's a good way to build um, a community... You right know, out the gate, yeah, <laughs> just, yeah, straight out the yeah. gate, yeah. Because people might not want to buy, you know, pay the full price for it. Uh, so this is a good way to just build people up instantly. Yeah, because a lot of people might not know what it is. Exactly. Because yeah. a lot of people probably wouldn't have got into the beta. Um, you know, it wasn't difficult. You had to do retweeted, <laughs> but exactly. they may not have even known about it. Yeah, yeah. But giving it away for free is is a very smart move. Uh, I'm really excited to play the full game. Yeah, me too. And I, I hope it does. I mean, Rocket League is an astronomical success, <laughs> yeah, and I don't anticipate it ever getting that big but I would like it to get that big yeah because it's a cool idea and if they continue to build on it add new stuff like um, you know like what has happened with Rocket League then uh, they're going to have a hit on their hands because it's a very very good game for sure yes so check that out PlayStation 3 you get Earth Defense Force 2025 Ooh, interesting it's a fun little uh, co-op game <laughs> yeah 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 okay and you get Under Night in Birth right never heard of it <laughs> sure um, and for Is Vita, that, you uh-huh. get Lumo. Lumo? Again. Oh, the same thing again, yeah. And you cool. get Severed, which is going to be, uh, which is good. It's a good one to have. Severed That's is um, a very cool game that came out fairly recently. It's like... Uh, Sounds familiar. Yeah, it, it's it's worth checking out. I can't remember who made it, but it's it's one of those games that was sort of critically acclaimed. Nice. And sought after when the Vita came out so uh, that's good. that's going to be one that is absolutely worth checking out so definitely do cool yeah now what else do we have what do we got over here <laughs> Cup of haters Cup of haters now the Switch reveal sorry launch is 
just a couple of days away now. We record on a Friday. By the time you hear this, the Switch will actually be out. Yeah. Uh, me and Finn will be playing Zelda as you listen to this. Now, yesterday, Nintendo announced Nindies. Nindies, oh yes. Nindies. They have like a Nindies showcase showing some independent games that are coming to the Nintendo Switch. Cool. And it's pretty cool. We've got... I'm going to run through a couple of them. So, uh, Steam World Dig is quite a popular game, I believe. Yeah. Um, but Steam World Dig 2 <laughs> is going to be launching this summer. Cool. Uh, Runner 3. Oh, yeah. Well, it's, I love the uh, Runner games. Which is a Switch exclusive coming this fall. Oh, really? Interesting. Um, a 16-bit successor to Retro City Rampage oh. called Shakedown Hawaii. That sounds awesome. It does sound awesome because Retro <laughs> City Rampage is amazing. It's freaking awesome, yeah. <laughs> like uh, which bitches, is releasing yeah. first on Switch this April. That's very cool. Yeah. Um, what else we got? Uh, so a game called Wargroove. Cool. Uh, the Probably Advanced like Wars-esque <laughs> strategy game from Ooh. Starbound developer Ooh. Chucklefish. Ooh. You got, you got my attention with Advanced Wars and Starbound. Okay. <laughs> that launches on Switch later this year with local oh, and online multi yeah, support, maybe. multiplayer support for one to four players. Awesome. Now, this is what they should be doing with the Switch because these are the kind of games that are going to be awesome to take around with you. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, Advanced Wars is excellent. Um, bu- 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 Master Blaster Zero. Nice. A follow up to Master Blaster that features Shocking. new and improved, yeah, <laughs> uh, new and improved g- gameplay systems and a two player mode. It comes exclusively to Switch and 3DS on March 9th. Awesome. So that's next week. Nice. Pocket Rumble, which is a 2D fighting game from Chucklefish and Cardboard Robot. Okay. That launches in March. In April. In April. April. Uh, April. Yeah, the Japanese April. We'll see Mr. Shifty, a stealthy <laughs> teleportation-centric action game. Ooh, interesting. Okay. And Graceful Explosion Machine, a side-scrolling shooter. Both of these... Launch first on Nintendo Switch. Sweet. Stardew Valley is also coming to the Switch. Excellent. And I believe it's the first. I believe it's the first uh, console version with multiplayer. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. Yes. Very good. Very uh, cool. Good job, Nintendo. Yes. So Nintendo said more than sixty indie games are stated, slated for release on Switch this year. Sweet. That is good. Very good. Um, because I know people want the big AAA. They want Mario. They want of course Zelda and all that sort of stuff. But I mean, Metroid, please. This is, that's a step in the right direction for me because those games, if you're taking your, you know, Switch around anywhere with you, like if you're using it as a handheld, those sorts of games are definitely the games that you want to play on the move. Oh yeah, I'd love to play Stardew Valley on the move if I ever went outside, but you know. <laughs> you have to go outside to, to, to make use of the Switch, I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Uh, what else do we have? There is more gaming news. There is, I'll have some here if you want some. Go for it. It's a rumour, but something we've been wanting for a long time. Okay. Uh, Shenmue 1 and 2 HD is uh, supposedly going to be released sometime this year. This year? This year. Well, we're, only in, well, we're in Hopefully. March now, 1st of March today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah, it's only rumour at this point. It hasn't been officially announced, but uh, there's a lot of uh, sources, apparently, have claimed that it's a thing that's happening. Okay. So that's cool. Um, that is cool. It uh, also means we're not getting three for ages. Uh, yeah, three is apparently getting pushed into 2018, which... Surprises no one. Let's uh, face it. <laughs> I, I think it's even further away than that. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. I'm going to be surprised if they it until at least 2019. Yeah. Um, but, hey, I'd love to play the first two again. Oh, for sure, yeah. They got this achievement as trophy, saw it. Um, and yeah, it's, it's an amazing game. Check them out if you haven't. Um, two absolutely stunning games. Yeah. Uh, with no ending. So, <laughs> yeah, no ending. Um, pray that the third one does actually come to fruition in the end <laughs> yes but um, if you haven't played Shemu before if you didn't own a Dreamcast or you didn't play Shemu 2 which was on the original Xbox mm-hmm. um, which was the only console version with um, English voice yeah English voice yeah yes because the Dreamcast version of Shemu 2 was in Japanese it was I had it yeah me too which I kept it because it's worth a lot of money now hell yeah it is <laughs> me too I bought it from Game World our local game shop oh yeah on the day of release like forty five pounds. Yeah, I think I bought them like the market they had used to have on yeah the weekends. But <laughs> that game is worth a ton of money now, and I wish I'd have kept it. Yeah, yeah, same. Yeah. But um, yeah, I, I hope that's true. Yeah, uh, I'm too. assuming it's PlayStation Four exclusive. Um, I would assume so. Yeah. Um. Also, uh, to blend sort of wrestling and video games into one, 
And it's going to be a new, a, apparently going to be a new Fire Pro Wrestling game. <gasps> yes, there's a teaser site set up by the developers. Um, for example, website here, if I can click on it. Is this a Kickstarter thing? I don't think so. Um, let's go to uh, the website. Sorry, I'll just bring it up beforehand. Planning ahead. Planning ahead. I was hoping it's going to be a link I can click on, but no. It's a copy paste. So you're giving me um, time to slurp on my coffee here. That's right. I don't even need a coffee. I just really fancied it. <laughs> I don't, I'm not tired or anything. I feel great. This is... Oh, yeah. So Spike Jonesoft, the developers, have launched mm. a teaser site uh, and video titled Pro Wrestling. Um, so, yeah. And it also supposedly looks like them coming out uh, in the West, not in Japan. In Japan. This is excellent news. Turn your laptop around so I can see. Uh, well, I don't know if to see, to be honest. There's a couple of guys in the ring. But <laughs> is, that, is that game footage? Or? Um, I don't think so. I think it's just generic. Um, um, that gets me very excited. I love Fire Pro Wrestling. And I would love nothing more than to have a brand new one. Yes, apparently we're going to see more tomorrow. Uh, in San Francisco, or G- I think GDC is the game thing that's happening. Sure. Drug. Uh, but yeah, apparently they're going to bring it there, and we're going to see, hopefully, something announced. Get in. Then, that that awesome. really excites me. I mean, and I imagine we'll see that this year as well. Um, I hope so, yeah. Because, I mean, so it's, it's a sprite 2D game. Mm-hmm. Well, it's, it is 2D. Sort of. Yeah, I know what I mean. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's like sprite-based. and It is, yeah, it's yeah. sprite-based. Unless you um, count the uh, terrible um, Xbox Live Arcade Avatar oh version, no no that's is, terrible yeah it can't even be brought into, it don't besmirch is the name of Fire Pro Wrestling that garbage dude. <laughs> yeah seriously fucking junk I can't believe <laughs> they, that even was even a thing I can't believe they were even allowed to bring it out I know it's shocking but uh, that um, excites me a lot me too that's awesome you know what doesn't excite me a lot what's that paying for trophies uh you've not heard this I haven't so you mentioned that Near Automata is coming out very soon yes now there's a feature in the game mm-hmm. where after you where if you're on your third playthrough of the game right so you play through it twice and then on the third playthrough using in-game currency you can purchase any trophies you haven't popped that's weird <laughs> what do you think um, to this ah uh, that's really weird so there could be a trophy for I don't know, beating the game with the hardest possible difficulty in two hours or whatever. And you can just buy it. Using in game currency. Yeah. I don't know. That kinda of defeats the purpose, doesn't it? Uh, the mid fence I don't know. It's crap. So you, it's could, crap you, you could <laughs> you could buy your way to the platinum trophy basically. Yeah. It depends how much it costs, I suppose. It's in game currency, so yeah, there's yeah. been no sort of indication that real money can be a factor in this. Hmm. I don't think this is a good idea. No, I don't. I think it defeats the it's... point of trophies. You have to earn the trophies. You should <laughs> grind your ass away and earn the fucking trophy <laughs> yeah Don't... seriously oh I can't be asked to get the, that last few bits of collectibles I'm just going to buy it for 200 VC or whatever the hell yeah well ping this is... there's my platinum yeah. thanks <laughs> do you remember this comes from a very uh, uh, weird side of Square Enix the near games and the Dragon Guard <laughs> stuff so it's the fact that this is a weird thing that's happening by them doesn't surprise me because it's Rack and Guard games are fucking weird, and I love it. But uh, <laughs> yeah, strange. Um, not yeah, not something I think I'd take advantage of. I think I'd much rather earn them myself. But yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to be pointing the finger at anybody that has that platinum <laughs> trophy. Yeah. So, did, so if you ever you get it, it, I'm going to be like Finn. Did you earn it? Did you earn <laughs> it? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll try and stream all, all I can. I said, see, I did, did get did it. Did you? <laughs> 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 like, you cleverly chopped it so you don't see the bits where you spent <laughs> in-game currency on trophies. <laughs> yeah, like it goes to static. Oh, it's, oh, it's cutting out now. <laughs> oh, what's this part of the game? <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. I've got lots of trophy. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's weird news. It is. Uh, but some good news. Um, I don't know if you played the original, but Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor is getting a sequel called mm. Shadow of War. Um, that's going to be coming out this year on August 22nd. Yeah, um, I, I, I'm not surprised that it's getting a sequel because it was super popular. Have you played oh it? Yeah. I, have, I own it. I haven't played it. It's yeah, out, no, it it really this. is outstanding. <laughs> yeah. It is bloody hard, but it's a very, very good game. Yeah, I should try and play it before this one comes out. But, yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, so that's a bit of good news. Bit new, yeah, that is new good game news. announcement is always a good thing. People are excited about it as well. So yeah. this should be because uh, Shadow of Mordor is really, really good. Yeah. And if fun. you haven't played Shadow of Mordor, it is in every single <laughs> PSN sale. Yeah, seriously. I think I bought it for super cheap when I got it. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Did you buy it digital or did you buy the uh, physical copy? I think I got a physical copy actually, yeah. 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 But it's like a, you can buy a Game of the Year edition for like less than a tenner, I think, in the last PSN sale. So <laughs> it will definitely be in there again. Um, definitely check it out. It's it's well worth it, if you, especially if you like Lord of the Rings and um, the lore that comes along with it. It's absolutely worth playing. It's fantastic. Cool. Cool that it's getting a sequel. Yes. Very I cool. won't play it. Uh, <laughs> I might, depending if I like the first one, if we're going to play it. You will like it. It's your, it. I think you will like it. It'll be your sort of thing. Yeah. Well, I'm not a big Lord of the Rings guy, but I do like these kind of games. Yeah. So, yeah. Just ignore the fact that it's Lord of the Rings and just enjoy it for what it is. It's like yeah, a fantasy yeah. um, sort of action RPG type um, yeah, it's kind of, world game. Yeah, it's kind of Assassin's Creed-y kind of, isn't it? Sort it of. is sort of, yeah. yeah. Um, it's a lot harder than Assassin's Creed. And there's more to it than that. There's not just sort of uh, go and steal some stuff for Leonardo da Vinci or whatever. <laughs> um, it, there's more to it. And the enemies are a lot harder and the battles are, uh, are far greater. Cool. But great news for this kind of sequel. Yes, very good. You got anything else? Uh, I think that's about it. That's uh, all okay. I've got. Good times. Now, Finn. Good times. Hello. Um, I know that Horizon's out. Mm-hmm. But what else is coming out this month? Oh, well, let me consult my list. What list would that be? It's the list of games coming out in March 2017. You just made the list! Yeah. Right. So, of course, this Friday, March the 3rd, we have the Nintendo Switch. Yeah. And it's in this launch lineup. Which is mediocre, but yeah, it's mediocre. Um, we have I Am Tatsuna, which is a uh, JRPG which came out on PS4 a little while ago. This has my interest, right? Because I haven't played it on PS4. Same. Is it? It's on PS4, right? It is. But the fact that I can sort of carry it around with me for if like I'm not playing anything in here, or if I want to sit in the front room with uh, my girlfriend or whatever, or want to lie in bed and play it, it looks quite cool, and it. I think I want to play it. Yeah, it looks really fun. It's like an old classic uh, uh, game. It takes takes inspiration from like Chrono Trigger on the Super Nintendo games mm-hmm. like that. Um, I definitely one I want to check out for sure. Cool. Also, a game I know you want to check out. The one you're very excited for. Uh, Just Dance 2017. Mm. <laughs> now, um, I'm surprised that um, you're not telling everybody that this is the one that you're looking for. I mean, I you, just... were, you were begging me to ask for a review copy of it. I mean, you know. And, you know, I'm next. the next one, Just Dance 2018, I'm going to see if I can get you involved in the promotional materials for it as part of Day Can I? So, they're going to, basically what the game's going to be, it's going to be Just Finn 2018. Yeah. And it's going to be your silhouette dancing on the screen <laughs> to, to loads of different songs and we have to dance like you. Of course. And I think that's going to be a better game. It is. Just Finn 2018. Hashtag Just Finn. Yeah. Hashtag Just Finn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Um, not, I mean, you know, th- these games, they're a thing. And yeah, people, they sell well and then people buy them. Super, they must sell well because there's one every year. Yeah, <laughs> they seriously. Just, they just must sell well. Yeah. Some There's a middle-aged man somewhere <laughs> excited to get his Switch on Friday <laughs> yeah. with the launch lineup, oh, and man. he's excited for Just Dance. Just going to dance in his pants <laughs> <laughs> to Katy Perry. <laughs> <laughs> Who can blame him? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, also, we have Super Bomber Bomber Super Bomberman R. Yes, uh, same day, obviously. That's one I'm very excited about. Um, I'm mm. hoping to have a copy of it. Um, I can't. You'd be nice. Promise anything yet? But uh, yeah, I'm hoping to sort of uh, get my hands on a copy of that as well. Yeah, so. It's classic Bomberman. Can't go wrong. Good. Yes. I think you needed to you, you, <laughs> see Bomberman is awesome. The concept of Bomberman is awesome. Um, you don't need to complicate it. Just exactly. Give us a fucking a map. And let us block our friends in a corner and blow them to shit. That's what you. That's what we need from Bomberman. Exactly. And it look, and uh, I'm sure it'd be very cool. They've been very cagey about it though, because uh, no review copies have gone out to anybody yet, let alone me. Well, it's Konami, isn't it? So who can blame? Them? Who can yeah. be surprised to say? Yeah. Um, also, on the same day, we have of course Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild on the Wii U as well as Switch. Super excited. Yes, so excited. Uh, it looks amazing. Like I said earlier on, I watched 10 minutes. The first, this is like the only footage I'd seen of Zelda so far, Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Um, and I saw it and I was, like, I was in love straight away. I was like, I can't wait for this. Yeah. I, I didn't say I hadn't been looking at stuff. I just kind of saw something yeah. the other day and thought, wow, that's even better than I thought it would. Yeah. Um, so I'm very excited for that. Uh, it's going to be cool. I'm really looking forward to us playing it on uh, on Friday. Same. Um, what's I have? One, two, Switch coming out. Um, Looks cool. Same day, obviously. I think I'll keep saying that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a launch one of course it's the same day um, 
That is cool. It looks like a fun party game. Yeah, sure. I'll pick that up at some point and we'll uh, we'll stream it cool. somehow. Awesome. We'll figure it out. Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, also, figure everything else out. It's, yeah. It just works. Uh, also, I have the World of Goo, which has been out on pretty much everything up until now. What's that for? Switch? Uh, Switch, yep. Yeah. World of what? World of Goo. It's like an indie puzzle kind of game. Of course it is. Yeah, it came out ages ago. Uh, you haven't played it by now. Just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, fair enough. I've never even heard of it. <laughs> yeah. I haven't played it. It's, it's, it's been fun. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we'll have a game called Human Resource Machine. Shrug. That sounds shit. Yeah. Human my, Resource Machine. Yeah, it's first, my first time being about it as well. So What do you have to do? Go to Human Resources, tell them that your pay's wrong. <laughs> yes. Like, do you return to work? Yeah. Oh, God. I hate this. It could be like Papers, Please. Like, like from your place, but like HR versions. <laughs> yeah. Papers, please, please is quite interesting. Oh, maybe then Human Resources, whatever it's called, will be... Uh, <laughs> maybe. What's it called? Human Resource Machine. Yeah. Is that on Switch as well? Yep, Switch. Still on Switch. Just Switch? Just Switch. Okay, we'll see what it is. Yeah, we'll see. Hopefully, <laughs> I, I want some demos, because, you know, obviously nice. the online stuff doesn't go live until Friday. Yeah. And it's day one patch for the console, so it would be nice to have demos for some of these games so you could try them out. Yes. We'll see. We'll see what the shop's got for us. Uh, we'll also have Little Inferno coming out on the, on the launch lineup, which is a little, in, a little indie game, I think. Okay. And I've played it myself. Sure. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and a game called Snippet Lips, which is actually looks really fun. No, that's not out on Friday, I don't think. Is it? They announced it. It's oh, they've announced yeah. it. it's coming out on Friday. Can't all say yes. Oh wow, okay, Visual. that one. That one's an interesting looking one. Yeah, it's really cool, like a little co-op uh, platformer kind of thing. Yeah, that looks but, really uh, good. That's one yeah. I'll definitely look at for sure. Definitely, so that'd be fun. Uh, I didn't realize they've announced it for for day one because they hadn't announced the launch date. <laughs> people were like, "You've got to fucking surely have this to launch with your console." Yeah, so yeah. Makes use of the Joy Cons. And it's like, what better way to just show it off than have this game? Because people said it was really good when they previewed it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's not about it now, so it's coming out when the day comes excellent. out. Excellent. So good, good news. We'll good look stuff. at that, for sure. For sure. Um, on March 7th, we have Ghost Recon Wildlands on PC, PS4, and Xbox One. Big one. Big month, this. Yes, yeah, big one. Um, less big is Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 on PC and Xbox One. Oh, wait, they, they don't have that yet? Apparently not. You whooped me on it. <laughs> <laughs> like I, did, I was embarrassed, bit. like, <laughs> just completely th- shown up. <laughs> well, yeah, he's played quite a bit in back. Oh, should we stream Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3? Yeah, yeah, that can't be good fun. Yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> I know. Smack, 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 smack. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck is this? It's like, bloody eSports fin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not angry, Jesus. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> Although, it would, because of the whooping you gave me, it would give me great pleasure <laughs> to see you get whooped by some eSports nerds. Oh, yeah, I'll get, I'll get absolutely destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> good at fighting games. Yes, it makes good. us realise how crap we are at fighting games. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, also, on March seventh, we have Lego Worlds, which is like the uh, Minecraft D Lego game. Mm, sure. It's on PC, PS4, and Xbox One. I have a game I'm looking forward to: Near Automata on PS4. On March seventh on in America, March tenth uh, over here. Make sure you buy them trophies, Finn. That's next Thursday, <laughs> isn't it? No, uh, Friday. Next sorry. Friday, I believe. Yes. Um, oh, so that means Wildlands right, is a Tuesday yeah, release. Um, it is. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. So Finn's going to be uh, playing through the game as quickly as he can, twice, so he's that he can go and trophy, purchase yeah. his platinum trophy. Of course. Uh, um, then we have a game called Verdun, V-E-R-D-U-N, uh, on Xbox One, on March 8th. Great. Shrug. Never heard of it. Same. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> then we have Danganronpa 1 and 2 Reload on PS4. Oh, okay, cool. That's on March 14th in America, March 17th uh, for us. Oh, I didn't realise I had a date. Okay, yeah. That, that, um, I'm interested in that one because I've heard people say really good things about it. It's very cool, yes. And I know you were surprised I'd even heard of it before. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, so I have heard of it. it and um, because I've heard people sort of talk about it and say it's pretty cool, it's, it has my interest. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Check it out. And then I'll um, just, just add it to my never-ending backlog. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Um, also on March 14th, we have Dead Rising 4 getting out, coming out on Steam. So I've played it out there and you're on a PC. Check it out, I guess. Sure, yeah. yeah. It's fine, it's, it's, it's fun. I mean, to be honest, I played an hour of it and I enjoyed it, so... Yeah, yeah it's a bit fun. Um, yeah, Mass Effect Andromeda coming out on PC, PS4 and Xbox One on March 21st. I forgot all about that. Me too. Uh, we actually have an outstanding prediction, uh, or bet, I should say, on that. Um, I said it would get delayed. Um, it looks like it's not going to, but it could still happen, maybe. Nope. <laughs> it could, maybe. They've announced the EA <laughs> Access date for when that game's going live. Oh, it's like oh. next week, I think. Oh. <laughs> oh, that sucks. So the 10-hour trial goes live uh, seven days before the game comes out. Cool. Well, I'll, get, I'll try. Um, it looks great. Yeah, it does. Another game I'll probably play all the way through until yep. a month. Until <laughs> till never. <laughs> uh, 
Um, with a game called Troll and I on PC, PS4, and Xbox One on March 21st. No idea. Um, we're on the review list for that, by the way. Oh, we so, are? Uh, we've heard I mean, of it. Oh, yeah, <laughs> we've heard of it. what that game is. I'm sure it'd be wonderful. <laughs> Shrug. Uh, uh, it, it, looks, it looks strange and interesting. Yeah, cool. Uh, we have This Is The Police on PS4 and Xbox One on March 22nd. Whoop, whoop. It's the sound of the police. Whoop, 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 etc. <laughs> it, sound, it, it looks quite funny that This Is The Police. Yeah, yeah. cool. Uh, we have a game called uh, Two Kiden, Two Kiden, Two Kai, Two Kaiden, I think perhaps Two Kaiden Two oh, on Suikiden, eh? Suikiden, 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 Suikiden. I don't know how to say it. I can't it's, say the word. It's uh, an old PS One game. Um, it's if they got a sequel, I'd be excited for. Is um, it that? No. Oh, it's Two Kid, Two Two Kid, Two Kiden, Toy Kiden. Oh, what? Yeah, Toy Kiden. It's a sequel to a game that came out a long time ago, which people are excited for. Um, right, okay. Coming out on PS4, PC, and PlayStation Vita. March 21st on America 24th uh, for um, us. Do you know uh, Suikoden? I think that's how you pronounce it. Mm-hmm. That is actually coming out on PS4 as well. It is? Um, the, is it? Was there a PS2 version of the game? Um, there's, yeah, um, 3 and 4 and 5, I guess, on and PS2. they're coming to uh, the PS2 on PS4. Awesome. Thing. I'm excited for that. I'll play them. Awesome. I won't. Never heard of it. Until <laughs> it's today. Put a little JRPG. It's cool. Check it out. Okay. Um, yeah. Rock Band VR coming out on Oculus on March 23rd. Okay. It's rock Band, but in VR. Uh, I love Rock Band. But, yeah, me too. Um, I can't help but feel that um, plastic guitars are maybe a thing of the past now. Perhaps, yes. I don't think it's cool to be in VR for five minutes. I can't see it lasting. No, I um, can't either. Um, I think... Um, they were sort. Of, I think they should have had a longer off, because obviously they brought yes. they launched. You know, they had a couple of years off, and then they brought Guitar Hero Live out and Rock Band Four in like in very very close proximity with each other. It's a great choice, yeah. <laughs> and Guitar Hero Live gave us something different, and it was very cool. Rock Band Four was actually the same, but better than Guitar Hero Live. So, oh really? Um, hmm. Tried and tested formula is the way forward. I guess but so. Nothing against Guitar Hero Live. No, it, I it was great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we also have uh, Dreamfall Chapters coming out on PS4 and Xbox One on March 24th which is like a uh, it's kind of like a Walking Dead kind of daily I think oh okay yeah like a, like a what are they called Telltale Games kind oh of thing. so it's not a zombie game I don't think so no uh, yeah it's a little game maybe maybe yeah. okay <laughs> uh, Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 plus 2.5 Remix <laughs> Nice title. There's got to uh, be a better name it's, it's, seriously just Kingdom it's, Hearts it's, 1 and 2 Remastered exactly it's Square Remix fucking easy Mm. Um, but if you haven't played Kingdom Hearts 1 or 2 definitely check it out it's amazing I love it you mean like me like you yes and it does have <laughs> my interest for sure yeah uh, I'll, I'll probably I get it anyway so this. yeah um, yeah I'm, I'm interested in it for sure I want to play through them yes definitely do before 3 yeah absolutely um, we have Vikings Walls of Midgard on PC and PS4 mm. <laughs> um, I don't know stuff that we cared about on PC uh, <laughs> nerds um, also, Dark Souls 3 DLC coming out. That might be cool. Okay. March, March 28th. Uh, the Ring the City. Did you ever finish Dark Souls 3? I finished it, yep. Oh. Need to play DLC though. Okay. Um, so that's cool. And that's about it, really. Good good month. Good month, yeah. So Horizon came out today in this country, 1st of March. Then we've mm-hmm. got the Switch on, and Zelda on Friday. Yep, yep. Um, Wildlands, Andromeda. Man, this is a, it's a stocked month for games. Good month, yes. Yeah. For sure. Very, very good. Finn. Hello. Let's talk wrestling. Okay. There's some wrestling this weekend. There was. So let's is. talk <laughs> the lacklustre final build-up <laughs> from this week's Monday Night Raw. Yes. Must we? I mean, we have to. <laughs> I mean, you know, this is it's part of our podcast now. We, we, we love to moan. We, you know what? We, we, we hate watching it, but we love moaning about it. And that that's that's why I love this podcast so much. <laughs> yes, and that's why it? other people love this podcast too, because they just hear us just <laughs> ripping on Raw every week. <laughs> yeah. By the way, how annoying is it when Stephanie's like, "Welcome to Monday Night Raw." <laughs> Doing the best Vince McMahon impression here. It's the worst. Awful. Yeah. Anyway, Finn. Hello. Talk us through Raw. Okay. Um, so Goldberg started off with Goldberg coming down saying, "I'm going to win the championship." Uh, this is fast lane. And then Kevin Owens came down and said, no, I'm going to win the championship at first lane. And then that was it, basically. <laughs> Big last segment summed up in a nutshell. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> um, 
Goldberg's never been really known for his mic work. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, I can't, I, I don't really know why, because, you know, Stella, Stella promo work like this. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that was the thing. I don't care about this match. We already know Goldberg's going to win it. So we do know that Goldberg's going to win it. It's a sh- like I said last week. It's a shame that it's taken this long to get the Kevin Owens that we actually deserve. Yeah, as champion. Seriously, and just for him, just, just, you know, just for him to lose it two weeks later to Goldberg. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, but I'm interested na- then to see what happens to Owens after this match and yeah. what, how he goes to Wrestlemania and what he does there because obviously he's not going to be Didn't involved in the title Jericho still got the US title it's a real step down in my opinion to have Owens fight for the US title yeah I still see some sort of six man tag um, mm. like with oh, Joe yeah, with the, Owens yeah. cool. um, Sami Zayn Jericho and I mean I guess you could just have a tag team match but maybe I don't see it. I, I think this is going to be a six man. Mm, interesting. Yes. Um, so we had another New Day segment about ice cream or something. I skipped it. Yeah. I, I, I saw them coming down the ramp. <laughs> I saw that Xavier Woods had a beard. I was like, I can't. <laughs> Xavier Woods a beard? What? No, can't do it. No. <laughs> um, so, uh, there's still going to be a match with the sun, Shining Stars, but they couldn't, WWE, I mean WWE, Vigic Man, Vigic Man, Man couldn't, couldn't help themselves. They had to get themselves an Oscars reference in there. Because I don't know if you saw it. Yeah, I can tell by your face expression that you have. <laughs> uh, there's a cock up at the o- Oscars. Um, they announced the one winners to something. So, and, lo- uh, yeah, basically what happened was um, they announced La La Land, <laughs> which is an excellent film, by the way, mm. um, as the best picture at the Oscars. Yeah. Only for the whole crew to get up there <laughs> to discover that Moonlight, which is also supposed to be excellent, was the actual winner. Oops. And you know what? I almost expected it. <laughs> Because WWE cannot help themselves. Yes, Vince McMahon in the back was laughing his ass off. Oh, no he doubt. absolutely was. Oh, the only person, not everyone around him sitting around was like, ha ha ha, yeah. Hmm. You know Wait. what we're going to do? <laughs> Very funny, Vince, yeah. We're going to do an <laughs> Oscars joke. Yeah. And I was like, is. do we have to, Vince? Come on. Every time something wrong happens, we have to jump on it. And it's just, <laughs> people don't think it's funny, they think it's shit. Yeah. We're going to do it. And it's going to be great. Uh, so that's the thing. And so, Sonic Stars on the way down. Um, uh, Someone came down with like a red envelope. Thought, oh, actually, it's going to be uh, Jinder, Jinder Mahal and Rusev again. Ha 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 ha. Funny. No one laughs. No one laughs. No no reaction whatsoever. Yeah, it's because it's, it's crap. That's it's why. It's terrible. not even funny. It's not. No, it's it wasn't funny at the Oscars. It's not funny on the wrestling. Yeah. It's just not funny. Yeah. <laughs> Stop trying humour. It doesn't work. <laughs> so that was a match that happened. Uh, New Day won. Meh, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> um, poor, poor handsome Rusev. Yeah, seriously. They deserve, he deserves better. Much better. Poor hard body Mahal. Mahal. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry for your terrible name. <laughs> uh, so we had a backstage segment with uh, Cesaro and Samoa Joe, which actually was pretty cool. Uh, referencing their time in the Indies, fighting together. It was, but can I, can I say something? Sure. Cesaro is is not good. Um, <laughs> yes, he is. As far, no, he, he's great <laughs> in rings, but his, his talking is very... Oh... Yes, we fought in the Indies, and you have not changed one bit. You I are think he's that bad. Very arrogant. No, he sucks. I'm sorry. No, he's, uh, it's who goes to Zara all the time. I don't think he's that bad. But Samoa Joe makes it look so easy. He's like, he just 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 strolls up. He's so it's, cool about it, and he just delivers his lines with like ease. But Cesaro's like, <laughs> well, when you speak twenty seven languages, it's gonna be hard to <laughs> get just the words out. Just the one instead. <laughs> I don't know. Poor Zara. Um, so yeah, that, that's... I look, look, that got a... Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so later on, they announced a match, uh, which was Sajai versus Samoa Joe, obviously. Which I'm looking forward to. For sure. Um, for sure. Poor Seamus, he wanted to beat her. He wanted to kick Samoa Joe's head off. <laughs> he did. But Cesaro went, No, Seamus, <laughs> I have got this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but before that, we had a match with uh, Akira Tozawa versus uh, Noam Dar. Which again, as like all quick matches, matches was mm. uh, very good, but very short. Too short. Very, far too short. Way too short. And then uh, Brian Kendrick attacks after the match, yeah. um, because that's a feud. And surely they're going to have a match probably on the pre-show at Fastlane? Yep. Yep. I think they even announced it. I think it might be a tag team match, maybe. 
Oh, no. come on. They don't need to have a tag team. You don't need to shoehorn everyone into yeah. the match. It's just, was oh, yeah. it TJ Perkins as well? And is it TJ Perkins and Akira Tazara and against Brian Kendrick and Tony Nice, maybe? No, no, something like that. I can't Gulak remember. Gulak or someone? Something like that. I can't remember, Daddy. Sure. Yeah. I feel bad for the Cruiserweights. Me too. They, they did 205 Live is the right platform for them. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, it's not the right platform for them because they shouldn't have it after SmackDown. It should be its yeah, own yeah. thing. It should be. Like the Cruiserweight Classic was when people were fully behind it, fully invested in it. It was like, oh my God, the match of the year between um, Gargano and Champa and all this sort of stuff. And it's like, yeah, um, that, that's why it was great and that's why everyone should be excited for the Cruiserweights. But then they come to Raw and they don't get given the time of day and they get given crap storylines. And Yeah, yeah, it's weird. It's a shame. <coughs> it is. Um, so there it is. Had, there it is. So then we had uh, Charlotte uh, and Dana Brooke versus Bailey and Shasta Banks. Uh, Charlotte got a promo before, beforehand, which is kind of crap. Charlotte, Charlotte doesn't know how to promo. <laughs> Do you not think she does? No. It, it I think great. Charlotte's a better promo giver than uh, Cesaro. <laughs> promo giver? Promo talker person? Promo deliverer? Perhaps. Sure. But I don't know. No, it wasn't. So, then they're uh, replacing Dana Brooke with Nia Jax. Fine. The match was... Eh, went, on, went on a bit long. Maybe we could have given us some of that time to cruise, cruise away instead. I don't know. Yeah, we, I mean, um, they they seeming they they want Nia Jax to have the exposure at the minute. Yeah, because they they clearly want to get her into. I mean, it's, it's going to be a fatal four way at WrestleMania. We've called it fucking ages. Ago, <laughs> yeah, and it's going to happen for sure. Nia, Nia, Nia pinned Bailey with a strike leg drop, so that's going to happen. Yeah, <laughs> they need to give Nia some better moves. A leg drop yeah. just doesn't cut it in this day and age. It doesn't. No, agreed. But to be honest, neither does a belly to belly. But again, like what Paul Heyman said ages and ages ago, you can make a. <laughs> Have a chin lock as your finisher. If you make it work, you make it work. And yeah. It, it, it's believable. So I guess so. But I'm sorry. Um, Hogan couldn't make the leg drop believable <laughs> past 95. Um, Nia Jax can't do it now. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, Nia. Um, Becky Lynch does leg drops every week on SmackDown. I know she's nowhere near the size of Nia Jax, but, yeah, but she does like quick succession leg drops. Yeah. She's even better. Yeah. I don't know. Because wrestling. Very good wrestling, yep. Uh, so we had Big Gas versus Luke Gallows because uh, they're going to have a tag team match uh, fast lane with the titles. Uh, Big Gas won because, of course, it does. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a fan of uh, Big Gas, to be honest. You're not a fan of Big Gas? No. He doesn't he didn't do it for me. No? He's just very boring. He's just, okay. He's just, yeah, you know, it's a big guy moves set. He just jumps on people and does one big move. You mean uh, Big Boot, Sidewalk Slam? Yeah, you know it once. I do that. <laughs> uh, yeah. All too well. Yes, and it's like when he's got Enzo talking for him, he says, like, one line, oh, got one word for you, S-A-W-F-T, and soft. One. <laughs> soft. <laughs> S-A-W-F-T, soft. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's the thing. Um, I don't mind Big Cass, but um, I just don't, I don't know what's happening with Enzo and Big Cass. I just, I can't buy into it. I no, just can't. Same. It's like, I like... The uh, you know the promos and stuff was funny. It was better on NXT because it was still fresh then. Yeah, it's but still now it's gonna be what crowd. have we got over here? And it's like over here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. same thing again. It's like the new day. It's gone. It's gone stale. And it's like yeah, it has a bit. Uh, whereas New Age Outlaws was so awesome all the time. What did they? Probably not when you look back at it. But, <laughs> yeah. You know, back then when we were idiot kids and we we're like, yeah, yeah. suck it. So bitch, good, yeah. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> saying naughty words on TV, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, suck my penis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So then we had uh, Seamus versus Titus O'Neil because of Facebook. Uh, yeah. Titus O'Neil attacked before the match. The bell rang and then one burger later, Seamus turns face. <laughs> so yeah, that's a thing. <sighs> Titus is just headed for the release list. Yep. Has to be. It's got to be by now, surely. Um, yeah. They tried to hype him up as well. It's like, oh, but for years now, I've been saying Titus O'Neil has all, has all the potential in the world, but just need to put it together, but then just hasn't lose like, immediately. It's because he doesn't wear elbow pads or wrist tape. Yeah, that's it. That's got to be it. Yeah. Does he even <laughs> wear knee pads? I think he does. I think. Who knows? Who cares, anyway? It doesn't even matter. He's just, he sh- should wear elbow pads. He should. Safety first, come on. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> So we, had, so we had an interview with uh, Seth Rollins, uh, whether will, it, will he or will he won't he make Mania. Um, he says he might not because the doctors might not clear him in time. Will he or won't he? Who knows? Yes, probably. 
Uh, <laughs> Triple H comes down, warns not to come to Mania. Because if you do, it'll be the last thing you do. It's a good Triple H impression. Thank you. Um, I'm very <laughs> impressed, actually. It uh, will be the uh, last uh, thing uh, <laughs> I actually you thought it was uh, do. Uh. Did you? Wow. Yeah. Yeah, must be, that must be good then. Welcome to the, uh, <laughs> the Games and Grats podcast with uh, Sonny and Triple H. Thank you. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, that was, that was kind of cool thing to happen, I guess. I like the Samoa Joe's like Triple H's uh, henchman. Yeah, yeah, Samoa he's hanging that outside. Well. Yeah. A lot of Samoa Joe on WWE TV at the minute. Hmm, it's a good thing. Yeah, absolutely. 100%. Um, I can't. I, I I praise Joe enough. I don't. I don't need to uh, <laughs> go off on Joe anymore. Yeah, seriously. Uh, so we had uh, the Big Show versus the Signing Stars. Why? Uh, because the Big Show. It's no. big, big. How can he possibly be the Big Show? No one can ever be the Big Show. He's so big and tall. Sure. Um, <laughs> ripped now as well. <laughs> yes. Apparently that match with uh, Shaquille O'Neal isn't going to happen at WrestleMania anymore. Oh really? No. Oh. So okay. that means hopefully Big Show won't be on WrestleMania, and we can have something better. Maybe. But, but I like but Shaq. Then, yeah. Mm. Big Shaq Diesel. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? Uh, it's, it's a basketball player. It's not most of them. Uh. But he's been in it before. <laughs> yeah, but it's crap though, isn't he? What? Yeah, it's, it's just he's just tall. That's just the gimmick. He's very tall hey, and he plays basketball. He's got a big boot and a sidewalk slam. <laughs> he's got a typical big man <laughs> move. It's big ass, yeah. Yeah, Big Shaq. Yeah, Big Shaq. Yeah, put big in front of his name like they were talking about on Raw the other week. <laughs> Why is everyone big? Yeah, yeah. Big show. Yeah. Big cast. Handsome Russo. Basketball man. Basketball Shaq. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure I'm not sure that's a catchy name. No? Uh, no. Basketball Shaq. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so, so then after that, um uh, <laughs> Neville uh looked in the mirror. Oh no wait, that's Tony Nice. Um Oh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um they're the same person. Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, so we had uh, Jack Gallagher and Chido Perkins versus Neville and Tony Nice. Tony Neville Tony Neville uh, it's a good match but again too short yeah uh, Gallagher makes Nice submit uh, Neville came into the ring but then didn't break it up for some reason because yeah because Neville because Neville because heel that's why yeah exactly um, and then they announced that uh, Beth Phoenix is going to be in the Hall of Fame which is weird <laughs> um yeah, I mean, I, I don't. To be honest, I've always, I always liked Beth Phoenix. Yeah, she's fine. Did she have good music? I can't even remember. Yeah, it was alright. Okay. Well, uh, okay. Yeah. I, so, I, yeah, I didn't mind Beth Phoenix. I thought she was okay. Yeah, it's just a weird one. May I think maybe there's more deserving. Perhaps. Is but, Sable in the Hall of Fame? I uh, don't know. Don't think so. See, I would say she's more deserving. If maybe. she isn't in there. Yeah. I don't know. It's weird. Who did we get last year? Jacqueline? It was, wasn't it? Yeah, Jacqueline. Jacqueline! Ja- Jacqueline! Or Ivory, or, you know, someone like that, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, Beth, Beth was fine. Yeah, she's fine. She's married to Edge. She is. That's why she's in there. No. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> hey, look, can't take it away from her. Anyone who's in there, they obviously think deserves it, so um, I can't take anything away from Beth Phoenix. Yeah, fair play. Um, good job. <laughs> well done. Good, uh, good going. GG. <laughs> So we had uh, Cesaro versus Samoa Joe. Why wasn't it the main event? Just why? Because Raw. <laughs> it's, but it's Samoa Joe. Oh, it's oh. two two top level guys. Two, two amazing wrestlers. It should, it should be the main event. I'm One fine. great at promos. The other uh, a little bit wooden. Fine at promos. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's a great match. Um, should have been should have been longer, and they kind of ruined it with like the injury angle. Cesaro hurt his leg early on, and then. They got a bunch of ages match. It could have, could have still have, but had it on later in the match. Hadn't let them have a good match first and then yeah. do that. I don't know. Uh, Samoa Judge took advantage, of course. Uh, ended up winning with a Yuanagi. Still no muscle buster. Uh. I don't think we're going to see it, to be honest. Uh, which is a shame because shame. he used it like, all the time in NXT. So, did, yeah. Which is still WWE, regardless of how you yeah. see NXT. It's still WWE. So I find it interesting that they're having him use the Yuanagi as opposed to the Muscle Buster, which he's used his entire career. Yeah, it's a weird one. But, to be honest, I couldn't care less, as long as Samoa Joe's looking a monster on TV, and he is, so it's yeah, good. it's great. And then Sami Zayn has him after the match, which is cool. Um, sent him off the feed for the last lane. That's your match of the night. Oh yeah, for sure. On Sunday, yep. 100%. Definitely. Let's ruin it and have him beaten in like a second, which would be terrible. Please, Please don't. Please don't. Um, 
Don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> so we had the contract signing between uh, Braun Strowman and Roman Reigns. Right. I am sick to death <laughs> of contract signings. There's yeah. one, or, like every pay-per-view now, like, oh, we're going to have a, an official title match. Contract signing. But what about the title matches that don't have the contract signing? What happens to them? Yeah, seriously. Do they just, they just fight for, for nothing or uh, what? I, don't, I just don't understand. Why do some matches have to have an official contract signing in the ring and others don't? Yeah, it's a weird one. Just to throw the table around. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so Braun attacked before the roaming ring, I think. Uh, threw through the barricade, spit um, over the barricade, sorry. And then they fought, fought in the crowd for a little while. Uh, Roman speared Braun through this barricade and through a security guard. Awesome. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool, actually. Uh, Roman goes to sign a contract. Uh, Braun gets up, throws Roman into the turnbuckle, neck first, broke the turnbuckle. Just thought it was quite cool. Um, and yeah, that was the thing. And then Roman signed the contract anyway, and whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, regardless of whether you'd have seen them sign them contracts or not, that match would still have happened. <laughs> yeah. You wouldn't have come away from Raw thinking, well... What's going well, to happen now? What's going to happen? Yeah, they didn't even sign the contract. Is, are they even going to have the match? Possibly happen. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's all up in the air now. <laughs> now it's not official because you know wrestling's real, of course. <laughs> so yeah, <sighs> that was raw. Signings. Yeah, sure. Um, uh, what do you raw give it? out of uh, five this week, Finn? One star. One star. <laughs> it was crap. <laughs> um, it could have been better. It could have had some art, savage, most Samoa Joe gone last. It could have been an amazing match that had gone on like, like half an hour. Uh, but nope, they ruined it. So, yeah. Yeah, one star from me too. Yeah. I was going to go half a star, but I think that's too harsh. Just yeah, because Samoa Joe and Cesaro. Yeah. One star. One star. It was shite. Right. Um, but Smackdown. <laughs> <laughs> Smackdown would look better, thankfully. Yes. I've only seen a little bit of it, which you caught me watching when you got here today. Oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, so it started off with... Uh, uh, Danny Bryan and uh, Shane watching a replay from last week. Uh, clearly, AJ landing first. Yep. And even, even the camera angle they had last week was better. You could clearly see him. He said, oh, they don't have any other camera angles. They must have, must have got lost in the fire or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, too bad you had the fire last week when we lost all the footage. I don't know. <laughs> Didn't Luke Harper finish land first? Uh, no, AJ. No, AJ land Yeah, first. yeah. Okay. Yeah. But... Uh, Two words, no replays of that exist. You seem to have confusion there because, you know, obviously... The, oh, yeah, the replays didn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We did say that would happen as well, didn't we? Like, they, they won't... They'll ignore that. Yeah. Completely. Oh, well. Um, so, yeah, that's set up to the mess later that night, which is uh, AJ versus Luke Harper. Yeah. Cool. Then we had uh, Miss TV with special guest uh, John Cena. And an awesome John! Th- John Cena! <laughs> <laughs> and there's an awesome promo between the Miss and Cena. Um... Very cool. If you haven't seen it, I don't recommend watching it. Absolutely. Um, um, there was, there was real. I like the ones where they bring a bit of truth in there. Yes. <laughs> now, obviously, they would have you know planned it before or whatever, but um, it doesn't make it any less cool. Uh, Miz, you know, saying some home truths like you know you're not here and all this sort of stuff. Cena came in, just absolutely burned him to the ground. Um, and it was awesome. Um, Cena at his best, Miz at his best. There's going to be some really great. Um, build up to their inevitable mixed tag team match at WrestleMania, Miz and Maurice against John Cena and Nikki. Mm. And it's going to be, it's the, the build up's going to be great. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Would the match itself be any good? Who knows? Probably not. <laughs> I don't know. It could be, it could be a surprise. You never know. It could be something. Sure. I mean, I'm not, again, I'm not against it, but. Oh, you know what it's fine I'm just yeah. it's happening now so we're just going to have to deal with it and <laughs> just accept that it's happening and just enjoy it for what it is yeah Um, it'd be great to see Maurice back in the ring anyway yeah and Nikki needs something to do at Wrestlemania that's not fighting Natalia thank god oh, thank goodness yeah and John Cena and The Miz will be able to put some sort of decent match on so I think so it could be good the build up will be good let's just enjoy it yes let's Um, the next match we had well the first match we had uh, was uh, Mickey James versus Becky Lynch in a 2 out of 3 fours match mm. um, and it was alright it's really good uh, Mickey won the first four with uh, the Mickey DT I uh, see what we did there oh. thanks for Nello <laughs> I think it's the first time he's actually hit the move since coming the back the Mickey DT Mickey DT yes that's what that's, what that's called terrible it. it is really terrible but uh, it's not even easy to say Mickey DT yeah 
<laughs> oh, the Mickey DT. That sounds stupid. It's horrible. <laughs> don't, don't, don't use that. The day more, I think he came up with it. Um, <laughs> later on. Yeah, so yeah. Don't say that. Please don't. <laughs> Never again. Yeah. Uh, so then Becky then shot the second floor, second fall with a roll up. And then what, uh, what did he call it? Just a roll up. I don't know. <laughs> the 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 back up. The bent. The oh, I can't even do it. Becky roll up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they, to be honest, they, they, they're so crap at uh, making names up for moves these days. <laughs> like um, the Oscar Lock. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Incredibly the lock. original. Ugh. What was the other one? The Fearless Lock. Fearless Nikki. Lock. Yeah. Terrible, yeah. It's dumb. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so then uh, Alexa Bliss came down between falls. Um, so after referee, well, uh, uh, Becky had Mickey pinned. And then Mickey James accidentally knocked Alexa off the apron. Oopsie daisy. And then uh, Becky won with a disarmor. So yeah, yeah, nice match. <laughs> Disarmer is a better name for a move. Yeah, it's, it's like disarm her. Yeah, clever. Um, it's, yeah, it's, 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 it, it works. It works. It does. Um, Mickey DT doesn't work. Not so much. N- not at all. <laughs> Poop. Poop. Okay, so that's good. I mean, I like that Mickey's getting. She hasn't really won. Uh, has she won at all? Uh, not really. So she's, she's come back. And she's she's doing that typical. Um, veteran coming back, putting every, everyone, everyone else, else over, over yeah. type thing. Yeah, it's fine. This what it is. Um, so we had in between matches, we had like an interview with Alexa Bliss. Um, we got interrupted by Natalia. He said, "Can we have a minute for a sec?" I was like, "What do you want? A minute or a sec?" <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, good, good on, good on Natalia. How long <laughs> you been doing this? Yeah, seriously. Can I have a minute for a sec? <laughs> um. <laughs> Stupid. Just fucking think what you're going to say before you say it. Yeah. I don't know. So it's going to challenge the list with the title, presumably. I don't know. Uh, uh, did you have a minute or a sec? Uh, about a sec. I don't know. Okay. Not long. <laughs> God almighty. So then we had uh, Luke Harper versus AJ Styles. Why was it not the main event again? <laughs> <laughs> um, before the match even happens, they advertised a chairs match for later that night between Apollo Crews and Dolph Ziggler. Because people would think that's more important than a main event at WrestleMania match. <laughs> a chairs match as well. Yeah. That's the worst kind of match. That's the worst like kind the, of match. The you lowest can have. of low. Yeah. Like when you have tables, ladders, and chairs, you think, right, table match, that's going to be good. Uh, ladder <laughs> match is always very exciting. You looking forward to that chairs match? Nope. <laughs> no, because you can get a chair in a ladder match, you can get a chair in a tables match. You don't need a specific match. Yeah. Oh, let's stack some chairs in the. Oh, put chairs all around the ring. It's going to be really dangerous. Oh. But you can only use one at a time. <laughs> How many chairs can you hold? Well, Kevin Owens could use like five in that one match. Yeah, He's no, but <laughs> like, if you're going to hit someone with a chair, you're hitting them with one, really. Yeah, it's true. Um, pick two up, you look like an idiot. <laughs> like pancake them. Them. Yeah, yeah. Where you got the edge anyway. thing? Anyway. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it was an awesome match. Um, both. Guys are great. Super. Um, AJ won the mission initially with the phenomenal forearm, but Luke Harper's leg was on the rope. Um, the match was re- uh, Shane McMahon came down. The match was restarted. Mm. Uh, AJ argued with Shane on the right side, and then Luke Harper accidentally super kicked him in the face. Ouch! Um, but then AJ ended up winning anyway with the springboard four fifty. Uh, and yeah, I was surprised actually. I was expecting Luke Harper to win. Well, yeah, so was I. So it throws up an interesting scenario for WrestleMania now. It does because. You know, obviously, what happened later on in the show. Hmm. Um, so we get what we're going to get a triple threat. I mean, we did Maybe. think it was going to be a triple threat anyway, but this isn't the triple threat that I was expecting. No, no, I spent between yeah, Luke Harper. And... Interesting, interesting match potentially. Yes, for sure. Um, then they announced. Excuse me. There's a lot of segment between with uh, John Cena and Nikki getting interrupted by uh, Cormenham and James Ellsworth. So next week they're going to have a match between those four, obviously. Uh, just to get that <laughs> tag team chemistry together, you see. Yeah, with, uh, yeah. John Cena and Nikki. It's not there a couple of them all have anything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, mean, um, I don't understand this James Ellsworth thing. WWE no, no, just backed themselves into a corner completely yeah, by just, giving him a, a deal. Yeah, they gave him a contract and then gave him nothing to do. <laughs> it's it's their own now. stupid fault. Yeah. And now he's, he's, got, he's wearing a backwards baseball cap and he's hanging out with Carmella, who they also do not know what to do Yeah, with. Um, Weird one. Strange, very strange. Um, so we had a uh, non-match between Dean Ambrose and Kurt Hawkins. Uh, Dean Ambrose came down, DDT to go Kurt Hawkins immediately before the match started. Uh, grabbed the microphone, called out Baron Corbin. Uh, Baron Corbin answered, but on like the big screen, didn't actually come down to the ring. 
And yeah, they said some words to each other, and that was it. Face the facts, Kurt Hawkins <laughs> sucks. Yeah, it's a shame because I don't know. They came back with all this hype, and then just kind of went nowhere. It's just again. nonsense. <laughs> just yeah. nonsense hype. Like it is. I just don't. I don't get it. It's like, why bring Kurt Hawkins back just to make numbers up? Yeah. Why bring um, Hard Body Mahal back just to make <laughs> numbers up and call him Hard Body Mahal? I just don't get it. Why do these things? I know. It's a weird one. Uh, so then we had the uh, Apollo Crews versus Dolph Ziggler match. Uh, much anticipated chairs match. Yeah, that big chairs match that we're all <laughs> very, very excited for. Yeah, it was actually pretty good. I quite liked it, actually. Mm. The match was not bad. Um, JBL <laughs> at one point said, I was in several chairs matches with against the Dudleys back in the day. He said, no, you weren't, JBL. They were, they were hardcore matches with yeah. chairs involved. Yeah, they weren't, the chairs, they weren't chairs matches then. They, were, they, weren't, they, they didn't exist. Wrestling was much cooler then, Jay. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then Apollo, Apollo, at one point, Apollo Crews uses a uh, ankle slam onto a chair. And JBL said, oh, it's like a gold medal slam. That's, that's not what it's called, JBL. Just, oh, good <laughs> well, how do you still have a job, JBL? <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. Why, why, why are you on commentary? Stop him. I don't understand Take why Tom Phillips is on there. I don't understand why David Atunga's on there. I just don't get <laughs> it's it. so many people. <laughs> Why is it like Tom Phillips is like shoehorned onto the end? I know, it's so dumb. Tom, just, uh, oh, here's a chair, but you can like put your papers next to JBL yeah. at the end of the you day. You can't talk to the matches though. No. <laughs> so weird. You can introduce SmackDown for no reason. Yeah. And oh, it's just a, such a weird setup. Very bizarre. Have you seen this um, Tom Phillips stuff, by the way? Which, which oh, Tom Phillips oh, stuff? Oh, <laughs> it's weird because like I saw, I saw something earlier on. Like... Basically, it looked like he was texting some girl, mm. so, <laughs> saying he was going to fuck her in the face. Right. Okay. And then, <laughs> as you do, for sure. And then you know the, um, you know, uh, Charlie Caruso. Uh huh. Um. Well, she put a picture on Instagram or something, and Nia Jack said, uh, "I want to ff you." As I like, apparently this is like a running joke backstage. I didn't know about this until this morning when I was sort of like, "What the hell is going on?" Here? <laughs> yeah. Weird. So Tom Phillips apparently had an erection on a plane for like four hours <laughs> and then he was going to fuck this girl in the face. And she screenshotted these texts and then put them on Instagram apparently. Right. Because yeah, happens, know. you know. Yeah, yeah, as it does. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so Tom Phillips. <laughs> yeah, Tom Phillips. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the uh, chairs match. Um, It was all right. Um. Dolph, Dolph ended up uh, crushing Apollo's throat on the chair. Ouch. And then crushed his balls on the chair. <laughs> and double ouch. Yeah. And uh, rolled him up into a pin. And that was the thing. Um, well, they're the two main things you need to function. You see, you're throwing, you're throwing your balls. balls. Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> you know, if you take them out, you're guaranteed you to win the match. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's it better than I thought it would be. Um, so, we had that uh, very wide segment, which was weird. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean... Look, we knew this was coming. Yeah, of course. Uh, we said it as soon as Brandy Orton joined the Wyatts. <laughs> yeah. Like, why is going to turn on him? Of course. Why feed us this? Why, we why know what it's going to yeah. happen. So we played along with it. We got into it a little bit. And now the inevitable has happened. WrestleMania's approaching. <laughs> They've thought, shit, what are we going to do? <laughs> Quick, let's just have him burn things down to the ground. Uh, yeah. So Randy was at the uh, Wyatts compound, a.k.a. Bray Shed. He's <laughs> like it's his family compound. <laughs> yeah. Jesus, it's, a, it's, like, yeah. it's not even a barn. It's like it's literally a garden shed. Pretty much. And apparently, that's where Sister Abigail's remains are buried or something. Of course. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> Randy Orton turned on Bray, and that's it. As he announced it, the camera like zoomed into his face, and it's like this, uh, like music playing. And it's like, oh my god, can you believe Randy Orton turned on Bray Wyatt? Yeah. And I was just sitting there like, well, yeah, of course he did. Yeah, well, obviously <laughs> we've known this. It's obviously going to what you think Randy Orton's going to grow a beard and be in the White Family. <laughs> no, yeah. so, oh my god! So yeah, then Paul Paul Benson petrol around and burnt the shed down. Then did his pose. Yeah, did his pose, and yeah, it was the thing. Well, but, I'm yeah. fine with it. I mean, it was coming anyway. Yeah, so of we course. had to come in some form or another. Yeah, the Bray Wyatt freaked out in the ring. Um, it was weird, very like Matt Hardy-ish. I thought <laughs> very uh, broken Matt Hardy. Um, so yeah, so. Bray Wyatt might look like Bray Wyatt Randy are going to fight at WrestleMania. Will AJ Styles also be there? Will he move out as well? Or will he still have that match against Sam McMahon? That was rumoured a while ago. 
Well, that's the thing now, because they, I mean, ideally, you just have Randy Orton turn on Bray Wyatt and you have the one-on-one match. Yeah, yeah. so you think so. But now, it just seems like weird booking because now we've, I mean, you know, a Wyatt triple threat would have made perfect sense. It would. Like to have him up because he was involved in Randy Orton stuff over the last couple of weeks and all that sort of thing. Um, and he's turned on Bray, so you think, okay, well, that's fine. Yeah, yeah that, that makes perfect sense. Fine, have that. And if you have to have AJ Styles versus Shane McMahon in a who can do the better high spot match, then fine. <laughs> yeah, that's what we'll have. Who can jump? Um, off, who we'll can just, jump off the tallest thing? Yeah, we'll just tolerate it. Yeah. But now AJ has beaten Luke Harper, so now he's in the match at WrestleMania. We think. Yeah, we potentially. Don't know. Yes. I mean, are we gonna have AJ win the belt from Bray? And then it's Randy Orton versus AJ. Who fucking knows yeah, anymore? It's like strange. we we I mean, we we were fully expecting a Wyatt triple threat based yeah, on sort yeah, of what sure. happened last week. Yeah, yeah. Um, I guess we'll find out, but it's it's a very interesting one now because it, it depending on how this goes, it depends on what these other people do at WrestleMania, or even if, if they're going to be on the show at all. Yeah, because, I mean Luke Harper. I imagine if he's not in a match. You just get shoehorned into the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Hmm. Probably wins it. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Strange. Very strange. Odd. Very strange indeed. But a good show all round, I thought. Yeah, fine. What'd you give SmackDown out of? Uh, uh, I get four stars. Okay, I'm, I, I can't really rate it because I didn't watch it all. No, I, I will, but, um, <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was a good, good show. On Miss the subject well. of um, the Hardy Boys, Broken Matt Hardy, mm-hmm. they've left TNA. They have, yes. Okay. So something, this. something is going on in TNA at the minute. Contracts yes. are up for renewal. People aren't renewing their contracts and they're leaving. So <laughs> um, the Hardy Boys are done with TNA, mm-hmm. and uh, they are not taking independent bookings past May because they don't know if they'll be able to fulfil them. Which screams, <laughs> "We're going to WWE yes, after exactly. WrestleMania." Yes, and I fully expect that to happen. Me too. Um, and I fully expect them to still be in the characters that they're using now. I hope because so. Because WWE see money in it. I'm yes. certain of that. I hope they give them creative control with it, just so they can get the full effect of weirdness. What they're going to have to do <laughs> is give them um, New Day type of control. Yes, they I think so. New Day, they let New Day pretty much do what they wanted. I'm sure you know it still had to be approved. Oh, of course, yeah. But you know, they pretty much did what they wanted, and that's why it was so great. And I think they will um, give the Hardys some form of creative freedom. Yes, I did see actually there are some disputes with TNA as to who actually owns the Mahardi, broken Mahardi character, whether it's TNA or Mahardi. Um, I imagine Mahardi will win that. Oh, surely. I think 100% <laughs> Mahardi will win that. Yeah. It's weird. It seems like ever since Jeff Jarrett came back to TNA, things have started to go a bit weird with the company. Yeah. So the Miracle, Mike Bennett and Maria, they're done with TNA. Oh, yeah. Um, Drew Galloway is done with TNA. Hmm. And uh, a, a TNA knockout called Jade is also finished with TNA. All right, okay. Uh, and I, I fully, I, I think more names will follow this list. I don't think this is going to be it. That's five or six in like just a couple of days. So, oh yeah, for sure. Um, tough times for TNA, and apparently this, I mean, this is only a rumor when I saw it earlier. But apparently, ITV have struck a deal with TNA to show oh. wrestling, but to show TNA when you couldn't have picked a worse time to do it. <laughs> yes, yeah, right? seriously, the worst possible if time. If your stars are leaving, yeah, people aren't going to want to watch it. Yeah. Yes. So, um, well. While Dixie has left and they were sort of, it was looking okay for TNA. Maybe, well, I say okay, okay for TNA. <laughs> yeah. Now it's looking weird again. It and is. Not looking promising. Stars are leaving and stars will be turning up in WWE. Yes. Drew Galloway is another one I can see coming back to WWE. Eventually. Um, perhaps even in, in part of that uh, UK championship thing, whatever they end up doing with that. Um, because he's great on the, on the UK scene right now. He's, he's, awesome, ev- he's everywhere. <laughs> he's excellent. I'd like to see him back, but they need to do it they they need to give him the spotlight he deserves. Oh, for sure. Not having fucking around one man band. Now that Jinder's yeah. back and oh, he's me. back and you know he he so he's still around. Yeah. Um. <laughs> they don't do that again. They don't need to do that. No. But uh, yeah, that could be interesting. Um. So let's make our stuff. fast lane predictions. Okay, so we get the match card real quick. Um. Oh, interesting. Gamespot has it. Gamespot what? Gamespot has a match card. Weird. Blending them sure, together. Sure, that's good. There we go. <laughs> Blurring the lines between yeah. games and graps. Yes, absolutely. Uh, right, so on the, on the pre-show, the tag team match we talked about earlier, it's uh, Akira Tozawa and Rich Swan. Oh. 
versus D. Brian Kendrick and Noam Dar. That makes sense, actually. I just threw cruiserweights in there because that's what they do. Yeah. Um, I think the face team probably wins. I think Cesaro is probably going to get one up on uh, Brian Kendrick. Uh, yeah, probably. Because, yeah, Tazawa's fairly new uh, to, to the uh, Kudok division, so it makes sense to give him a win. Haven't get, get the pin for over Brian Kendrick. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Although I do feel bad for Noam Dark, because I feel like all he's done recently is lose. Um, he's lost a lot recently, yeah, yes. for sure. He won't unleash the Fox. Fox. <laughs> yeah, I think it's the faces win this, I think. Yes. Uh, what we got next? Next up on here we have uh, Sasha Banks versus uh, Nia Jax yet again. <laughs> um, I think not. I think Sasha wins this one. You think so? Yeah, I think she she gets one up on uh, on old Nia. Maybe wins with a leg drop or something. <laughs> <laughs> Your tiniest leg drop. <laughs> the world's tiniest leg drop. Yeah, I think uh, I think Sasha will win this one. Okay, I want to say Nia because um, I made a mistake of picking uh, Sasha last time. Okay, <laughs> and she got destroyed pretty instantly. Um, well, yeah, that did happen, yeah. Um, no, I'm going to go for Sasha this time, simply because um, Nia's been fairly dominant over over the last she has. few weeks and stuff, so I think maybe it's time for Sasha to get one over on her, and then they can continue this build to the inevitable fatal four-way yeah. match at WrestleMania. Yeah, I think it'll be close, but I think Nia's going to end up getting the win. Um, yeah. Okay. But uh, because she's big and strong. She's not like most <laughs> girls. Look strong. She's not like most girls, yeah. <laughs> so we have the uh, tag team championship match between Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson and uh, Enzo and Cass. The club have to win. Yeah, seriously, they have to. If Enzo and Cass win, that's a that's a travesty. Yeah, you can't wait all this time to put the tag team titles on the club, only for them to lose it straight away to Enzo and Cass. No, 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 no. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'm um, I'm having none of that. Yeah, I'm a little worried because they obviously have a lot of lot invested in Enzo and Cass, and they did like a. I think backstage thing this week and we're saying, oh, we never were tag team championship champions in NXT, so we need to win this one because so we can, you know, be real wrestlers or something. I don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm sorry, I just can't. I can't. I can't have it. Yeah, I know it's not my decision, but I can't <laughs> have it. Yeah, I don't. I don't, I don't want it either. So yeah, I want to take club as well because I want them to win more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we want them to win. So if we don't get what we want, then uh, we're gonna go skits. That's it. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, so then we have a match I'm looking forward to. Um, Neville versus Jack Gallagher for the Cruiserweight Championship. Yeah, it'd be good, that will. Yeah. Um, I think Neville will win. Oh, uh, yeah, for sure. Because I still think we're, we're going to get Austin Aries versus Neville at WrestleMania. Yeah, that'd be awesome, actually. Sorry, wait a second, Gallagher. And I think we'll start seeing them seeds sown next week. Uh, yeah, but there's been a few um, no, Austin Aries highlight packages um, been shown on war recently, so... Yes, I think that's going to be happening soon, sooner rather than later. Yeah, he's been cleared, so um, this is this is a good time. Yes, good stuff. John is making notes hastily. Yeah, no problem, no problem. <laughs> hastily. <laughs> right, and then we have Samoa Joe versus Sami Zayn, potentially a match of the night. Yeah, potential show steal of that one, big time. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna say Joe. Need to keep that momentum going. Need yeah. to keep building Joe. I know that's bad for Sammy, but uh, Sammy always puts on a, a real class match, and I oh, sure. fully expect it to be the same here as well. Uh, yeah, I yeah, <laughs> Sammy Sammy's great. I hate to see him losing all the time, but Samoa Joe is going to needs needs to go into WrestleMania looking like a monster. And uh, yes, yeah, I think he's gonna especially his first pay per view outing as well. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, sorry, Sammy, but judgment is one. Yeah. Uh, then we have <laughs> uh, Bailey versus Charlotte yet again for the women's title. On three, one, two, three, Charlotte. Charlotte. Yeah, <laughs> of course it's going to be Lee Charlotte, isn't it? Uh, she doesn't lose a pay per view. Got to keep that record strong. Got to keep that record going. I still say she loses that re- that streak at WrestleMania. <laughs> yeah, probably. Th- otherwise, it's ridiculous. You cannot <laughs> keep it going forever because otherwise she'll just be women's champion forever. Yeah, to be twenty seven time women's champion. Yeah, she'll like, break her dad's government. record like in <laughs> record time. Yeah. Before the year's out. Definitely. Um, so yeah, Charlotte's been up for sure. Oop. Right. So next up, um, the maybe slightly less predictable, uh, Braun Strowman versus Roman Reigns. Yeah, this is an interesting one, to be honest, because 
I mean, both men have looked strong in this. I would dare I say Braun has probably looked stronger. I mean, they've made him look yeah. like a complete monster. Yeah, he does, yeah. So I think Roman Reigns will win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a WWE thing, isn't it? Um, I want to say, I want to have faith and say Braun's going to win. Mm-hmm. Just to make make him do, make, like, make him a proper main event, top level heel. Yeah. Just a complete destroyer, having to destroy Roman Reigns. That's how it uh, should be. I mean, I, um, I genuinely think Braun's got a massive future. Oh, yeah, for sure. But WWE won't give up on Reigns. <laughs> Vince refuses to give up on Reigns. Yeah, he refuses to. They will like him. I say they will like him. The reason I say yeah. Reigns is going to win anyway. is because I think we'll see The Undertaker on Raw the night after, <laughs> and they'll start that build, because I think uh, it is going to be Reigns versus Undertaker. Uh, <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, who wants that, though? Nobody... No, nobody wants that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, even Cena said it on SmackDown, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, I know. <laughs> I know, Finn. So then we have the main event. Um, Kevin Owens versus Goldberg for the Universal title. On three? One, One two, two, three, three Goldberg. Goldberg. Yeah. Sorry, Kevin. We love you. But yeah, it's Goldberg, isn't it? <laughs> for sure, yeah. Like 100%. Yeah. Um, it was rumoured coming out of the Royal Rumble, maybe even going into the Royal Rumble. Yeah. Sort of them rumbles. Sorry. Uh, I didn't even mean that. It was just sort of. I said rumbles. Oh, I rumbles. Yeah, I rumble. think we know, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I think Goldberg is coming out of the uh, the match with the Universal Championship. Yeah. And it is what it is, and we've got to deal with it. And, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm looking forward to the show. It has. It does have potential to be good. There's a couple of decent looking matches on there. Oh, yeah. Uh, and I am looking forward to it. Like, I look forward to. Every pay per view, yeah, but um, but you know it's predictable. It is Goldberg's going to win. Is the long and short of it? Yes, I do think it'd be a bit longer than the average Goldberg match. I think Kevin will uh, play about a bit, maybe have him run around the outside a bit. I think it has to be, yeah, because otherwise Goldberg can't win that belt in record time. I mean, I know I said <laughs> a couple of weeks back they can't have Owens show Brock up by having a longer match. But I think for the sake of story and for the sake of the fans' mental states, um, <laughs> they have to have a longer match. Yeah, seriously. Uh, Goldberg just can't win that match in a minute 20, whatever. Yeah. I, I, I can definitely see the crowd turning on Goldberg <laughs> at WrestleMania if, if uh, that happens. I always, always see him turning on him anyway, just like last time Brock and Goldberg fought at WrestleMania. Yeah, I mean, they, they, they cheer for him now, but <laughs> yeah. it's... Though they cheered for Reigns until he won the Royal Rumble. <laughs> it's true. So what fans think they want, they don't want. Yeah, because no, because again, there's going to two part timers fighting WrestleMania with the main event. Who wants that for the championship? For the championship, exactly. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Strange times. Strange. But like I said, it is what it is, and we just have to deal with it. Yep. It's not much us. So speaking of be. WWE Fastlane, we're going to be live at youtube.com forward slash Daydreamer Gaming on Sunday mm. for our Fastlane prediction show as we will be playing through the entire card on WWE 2K17. Yep, yep. Finn. Hello. This week's episode of the Games and Grats podcast has been brought to you by the letter O. Or O. Oh. My, what a night of wrestling it was. <laughs> <laughs> said nobody said nobody <laughs> watching, watching Monday Night War <laughs> tell you what there isn't many O's ah. Owen Hart uh, Paul Orndorff um, <laughs> <laughs> just did you think of anyone else Orlando something somebody Orlando Jordan was it yeah Orlando Jordan there hey. he is hey there we go part of uh, JBL's cabinet oh uh, yeah that was a thing Outback Jack. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <Good> picture. <laughs> oh, God. Height six foot five. Wait. Is he Australian, by any chance? Yes. Yeah, trucking. Uh, <laughs> weight 300 pounds. Okay. From Humberty Do, Australia. Humberty Do. Is this a real place? No, it's just, it's just something Vince around for. So it like, is, isn't it? Ah, uh, it's some Humberty Do, Australia. Yeah, no, He'd no. never heard, obviously, this was <laughs> in the 80s. He'd never heard of Australia before. <laughs> yeah. He'd watch he, he Crocodile, Crocodile Dundee. Yeah, Crocodile Dundee. <laughs> <laughs> in, in 1987, WWE welcomed a Bushman from Australia's Northern Territory. A Bushman. Mm. Thanks to the survival skills learned after years with the Aborigines. 
Outback feared nothing, not even a salt water crock. <laughs> to prepare fans for his arrival, video segments. What? To prepare fans for his arrival, that doesn't read right. <laughs> to prepare fans for his arrival, video segments. No, I think it means. To prepare yeah, yeah, fans it for his does, arrival, but there's no the, the video pun- segments were played. Yeah, the blah, punctuation's blah. terrible. I mean, Come no, on, WWE, <laughs> this is ridiculous. Yeah, Proofread yeah, your yeah, shit. Exactly. To, <laughs> to prepare fans for his arrival. Comma. Video segments showed Jack in the Australian outback training for his much anticipated debut. When it came time to step through the ropes, Outback Jack did not disappoint. The boomerang, a modified version of the dangerous Enzui Lariat, All right. <laughs> put all superstars on notice. Australia's favourite son battled against the likes of Barry Horowitz, Iron Mike Sharp, Jim the Anvil Neidhart, and Million Dollar Man. Ted DiBiase and Ravishing Rick Rude. Ah. That is a very poor writer. Read that. All right. <laughs> Let's have a look. That <laughs> is shoddy. That is shoddy writing. It's a bit. The punctuation is fucking appalling. It doesn't say when he van. Like everyone else we've read out so far, <laughs> like has had a story about w- w- when they buggered off or whatever and never came back. But um, Outback Jack. Yeah. Not only is he from a made-up place. <laughs> Uh, it's terrible, pretty, isn't it? Yeah, no commas. It's pretty bad. Um, yeah. So it's not me who can't read. Humpty it's D- WWE who can't write. Yeah, seriously. It's just missing a comma for sure. Uh, yeah, Humpty Do, Humpty Do Australia. For God's sake. Vince, come on. <laughs> <sighs> I know, I know. Oh, the oddities, remember them? I do. Christ. <laughs> Kurgan. I remember one of them used to carry a South Park doll. He did, yeah. Kenny. Kenny. Ken- yeah. Um, yeah. This oh. week's episode of the Games of Grass podcast was brought to you by the letter O. Oh, yes. This is the Games of Grass podcast. It is. And we are a weekly video game and wrestling podcast that posts every single Friday across podcast services everywhere. Everywhere. And youtube.com forward slash Sunny Finn Play. Yes. And, and youtube.com forward slash Daydreamer Gaming. Yeah. Thank you very much for listening. This has been episode 53. I'm Sunny. I'm Finn. And we will speak to you next time. Goodbye. Thanks so much. Goodbye.